So I grew up uh, in Hampton, Virginia. I was born in Newport News, Virginia. Uh, single parent home, my mom raised four boys. I you know, come from very uh, humble, or some of you may say humble, beginnings. Uh, my grandfather had a great set of grandparents. Can we give it up for grandparents one time? I'm sure we have some grandparents here today that are taking some of you kids to practice for mom and dad can't do it. So, uh, yeah, so my mom works at Langley Air Force Base, so military family. I was speaking with a gentleman today. He said, uh, I said, what time do you get up? He says, I get up at 11 o'clock. I said, 11 o'clock? My mom was getting us up at 6 a.m. My grandfather was getting us up at 6 a.m. every morning. To this day, I still get up early. At 11 o'clock, the day is halfway done. So I have three brothers, right? We all played every sport. I say every sport. I'm in Virginia, so there's no hockey. There's, there was no lacrosse at the time, right? So soccer, baseball, football, and basketball. When we got to high school, my mom said, you know what? It's time to choose one sport. You know, most of you are probably telling your kids, hey, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. My mom was the exact opposite, right? So I quit everything, I quit everything. And I was pretty good. You know, I played AAU, basketball, I was on the baseball team, everything like that. Ended up choosing football. And I talk about sports, but you know, my mom always harped on education because even when I was five and six years old, that's when I started playing sports. You know, we couldn't go outside or we couldn't go to practice if we didn't have our homework done. And it wasn't just, it wasn't about just doing the bare minimum. It was about going above and beyond. 95% of the people in this world, some of you parents can attest to this, 95, you can outwork 95% of your competition if you want to. Now, there's a balance here, right? Don't think, you know, you can go do some extra practice or do some extra push-ups or something like that without giving something up. You know, a lot of people, they want a lot, but they don't want to give up a lot. So if you want to get better, if you, you know you need to increase your upper body strength, you're gonna to have to give something up. Whether it's PlayStation, whether it's PlayStation, anybody, anybody know what I'm talking about? PlayStation in here? Or it, X, oh, is it X, is it the Xbox round? <laughs> you have to give something up to gain something. But I'm up here to tell you guys, I want you, you know, if you don't hear anything else today, I want you to hear, do every, everything you do, do it on purpose. And what do I mean when I say that? Whether it's studying, study on purpose. Don't do it because your mom and dad told you to get in there and study. Whether it's training, don't go to practice. How many guys have gone to practice and at the end of practice was like, why, why were we out here? If you're, if you're wasting days like that, time is a finite, it's a finite thing. And finite means it's gonna run out. And your athletic clock is already running out. Believe me, a lot of you guys in here are closer to the end than you are to the beginning. I'm just gonna, it's just, I'm, I'm gonna be super honest with you guys. And it hurts, but I love you guys, and I don't even know you guys. I'm gonna be super honest. I'm gonna talk to you how I would talk to my brothers. And when I first got drafted to New England, I'm a 10th overall pick. I remember walking in there, you know, Teddy Bruschi, he's like, he was, I mean, this is old for sports, right? He was like 31, that's old for sports. Junior Seau was like 38. He's one of those guys who, well, he'd be part of time for a while. Uh, Mike Vrabel was like 33, right? And the, they told me, I'm this young guy coming in, first round draft pick. They knew I was coming to take someone's position, right? Someone was gonna lose a job. And at that point, you're not playing for fun. And you guys are playing for fun now, a little bit, but a lot of you guys are juniors and seniors, so you're playing for a scholarship. Can I get an amen from the parents in here? <laughs> you're, 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 competing, you're competing for a scholarship. And when you start to think like that, your whole mindset will shift. It, my last point for you guys, because get uncomfortable. Most of us, we live, I mean, in America, let's be honest, we live very comfortable lives. So get uncomfortable in life. Every day, you can ask my wife, she gets mad at me all the time. I take a cold shower every day. Freezing cold. No, start it hot, go to cold. My whole mindset behind that is, if I can start my day off, right, in the most, it's five o'clock in the morning, in the most uncomfortable situation, there's nothing that's gonna happen the rest of the day to make me as uncomfortable as I am, right? So get uncomfortable. 